Hey everyone, are you worn out by the toxic racism and the daily microaggressions in the U.S.? Are you getting sick and tired of the racial division, especially with the upcoming election coming up? Watch this to the end because this video is for you. Hi, my name is Terrence. And I am Lakeisha. Our channel was created to encourage men and women over 40 to move abroad so that they can live a life of ease with less stress. We escaped to Merida, Mexico, and so can you. So we were watching Almost Retired in Mexico's video, and it's called Black, White, or Brown, All Expats Are Welcomed in Mexico. And we wanted to discuss our experiences as being black in Madrid in Mexico. So let's jump right into it. So here in Madrid in Mexico, we have not experienced any racism. I don't want to say that there isn't any racism, but we haven't experienced it. Do, no. do you agree? I agree. Yeah. But one thing that I can say is that we, especially, I think that it was more noticeable when we got here, is that we do get a lot of curiosity stares yeah. and smiles, right? Yeah. Don't we? Yeah, we do. So it's like, they're always, they're, it's always like, they're looking at us like, hmm, okay. Mm. I wonder why they're here. Then a lot of them will actually come up to us and practice their English yep. and say, where are you from? <laughs> right. And they're just very, very nice people here. Very welcoming, mm -hmm. very friendly, very nice. Um, I like when they always welcome us as buenos dias, yes, yeah. buenas tardes, yes. buenas noches. Yes. Yeah. Every time that we get into the DD or in the stores, very, very, very friendly people here in Merida. So that's number one. We do get curiosity stares, but it's not like ill right. or you're black. Right. Why are you here? No, it's okay. Looks like you're a Medi maybe a Americano. Mm -hmm. Let's let's see where you're from. So yeah, that's number one. Curiosity yeah. stares. And they always ask, "How are you?" Yeah, they really <laughs> do. So, yeah. The people in Madrid are also very very helpful and very very friendly. And when they notice quite often, to be honest with you, that we're struggling, like in a supermarket or something like that, to speak with someone um, that doesn't speak English, they'll jump right in to help us speak Spanish. Yeah. Um, just very, very helpful. And it's not like back in the States where we are, can be sort of rude if an um, uh, immigrant or an expat doesn't um, know English. We're, we can be rude. But here, they are so patient and very friendly and very nice. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of the Mexican folks are friendly. So they, they'll walk up to you and um, want to smile and say, you know, you know, hi, how you doing? So they, if they can't speak English to you, they'll try their hardest. Just yeah. to try to hold a conversation. So. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. I know. It's cool. Like, they, <laughs> I, I love how they try, like, how they try to practice their English um, with us. And we try our hardest. We aren't uh, proficient in Spanish or anything like that, but we try our hardest to show them that we are here in Mexico and we are trying to learn your language. Right. And we do try to communicate in Spanish as well. Mm -hmm. So let's discuss the police here in Merida, Mexico. Um, in the United States, when it came when it came to being a black woman, and yeah, and a black man, in the United States, especially in Boston, mm -hmm. they you feel the tension a lot of times um, between the police and um, the and black Americans. I'm not saying that all of the police in um, Boston are racist. Absolutely not. They were some absolutely nice police officers that were even your customers, customers yeah. True. you know, but there is an underlying tension there a lot of times when it comes to police officers. Um, but here in Medida, you do see them sometimes with their big guns and I'm like, whoa, but mm -hmm. they pretty much mind their own business. They do. And, but at the same time, they're very helpful. Um, remember when we, we were on our scooter? Yeah. 
We have a scooter, y'all. Mm -hmm. We were on our scooter, and we were um, just driving around, getting to know the area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we were trying to look for one street because we were looking for, we are looking for houses that are for sale um, in our area. And we were looking for a street, and it was early in the morning, and a cop noticed us. Yeah. So he pulled up. Yeah. He's like, hey, you guys lost? We are like, nah, we're not lost. He's like, oh, well, you know, all these streets pretty much run to the main streets. So he said, let's just look for this, this, you know, a street that we think he look, that we were looking for. He'll say, just go up the street, take a left and a right, and it's right there. So I was like, okay. Yeah, so he basically helped us, showed us the directions to the actual street that we were looking for. And just very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you may see them with big guns, but they're very nice. Mm -hmm. um, we, I know that there's a lot of talk like in the expat community about um, coercion or whatever else, but we haven't experienced it yet, yeah. or not at all. But um, there's definitely a difference of feeling the underlying tension in, in the U.S. when it comes to police versus them being friendly here and basically minding their own business. So. Mm -hmm. That's the police here in Madida. <laughs> so overall, our experiences here in Madida has been very, very pleasant. Um, the people here are very welcoming. They're very friendly. You know, they may give us the curious stares. Like I'm, sh I'm very short. You, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm very short, and T is um, tall. Yeah. yeah. So least, you do stand yeah. out. Yeah. So we do get curiosity stares, but it's like like I said earlier, it's just it's just like wondering where are we from and things like that. It's not nothing filled with hatred. Um, yeah, we're not saying that there isn't any racism here, but we just haven't experienced any. Exactly. So far, so good. Exactly. If you want to see more videos like this, then you should subscribe and share this link. Yes. And we will speak to you next time. Adios. Bye.